wasn't from a musical family. My daddy was a shoemaker. He used to try to break me in fixing shoes. I'd be sitting down, nailing shoes, cutting leather. Never did like it. Coming from school, I used to follow the band. Got to be working that way. Get home later. My name is George Kohler. But when I was about 11 years old, people started calling me Sheik. And now that's all they know me by. Kid Sheik. Here in New Orleans, any day is the right day for a parade. Remember we played a funeral across the river. Today we're going to dedicate a new church. Today, young folks come to me like I used to go to Chris to learn the horn. Of course, I know Chris Kelly. He was a great man. You got to remember, though, you can only share so much. Oh, yeah, 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 I see what you mean. I got some people. You can teach someone to sing the horn, to blow the notes, but the feeling for the music has to be in you. Jazz is a feeling, a good feeling. Never a sad feeling in music. Even when you play the blues. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. and then then yeah, you do that. Yeah, that's yeah. the problem. You can't take another place. I don't know if you can take another place. You work hard and you're lucky you develop that tone. Little by little it comes to you, like a voice and singing. I remember my days with Chris Kelly. He was a great musician because he had a special sound. Plenty fellows had it. But they didn't blow notes like Chris. to all them bands around that time. Jack Carey, Sam Hall, Buddy Petit. Those were good times. In 29, I went on tour out at Bogalusa with a fellow named Dan Woody. House parties, yard parties, things like that. Played with some great ones when I was coming up. But one day I just said, well, I can make up my own group. And so I've been going ever since. When you play with a band, and your life is there, you play easy. It seems like you're not blowing at all. Everybody's together like one man. I played with bands where the fellows didn't speak to one another. Just played to make the money. That way you don't get nothing out of it. No kind of feeling. Just a hard night for you. But the band I have now, we're happy together. And so the music's good. Thank <laughs> you. 
Chicago East Yard or in the grand ballroom of the Royal Orleans makes no difference. We can be getting a dollar or a thousand dollars. It's going to be the same. The feeling's in us. There's no other way we can be. started on the river. That's what people say. They tell me Buddy Bowling was the first one to play it. He'd be on the other side of the river and you could hear him here. Men working on the river would move in time to the beat of the music. Beat was everywhere. On the street. In the church. In the tanks and barrel houses where people went to be together. Like the beating of a big heart gave everyone a good feeling. Nowadays, people seem to move to a different beat. You've got your rock and roll, swing and all that. But when I was coming up, there was nothing but jazz. That's all you heard. And that's all you had to go by. And that's all I know. New Orleans Jazz. Still, I figure things seem to change a lot more than they really do. The river's the same river I knew as a boy. And the feelings I had then are the same I still feel. And the music I played as a boy touches the heart same day as it did then. Always be that way, I think. Nothing ever gonna change that. Jazz is all about it. Like I say, even when you play the blues, there's nothing sad about it. New Orleans was the cradle where it all began. When I found it, it was already full grown and it's fun. Today it's getting on some. But there's plenty of life there yet. 